Hey there, Marco Spadafora here from Whole Lot of Drumming. Welcome to another episode of Drum Book Studies. I thought I would do something a little different today. What we're going to do is we're going to use syncopation to further develop the Purdy Shuffle. So that's kind of the idea here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take pages, let's see here, pages 33, 34, 35, and 36. With our hands, we're going to play the Purdy Shuffle, which is this. If you're not familiar with how to play the Purdy Shuffle, watch the video that I did on that. It really explains very easily how to pull this thing off, okay? So I'm assuming right now those of you that are watching this have an idea how this goes. Okay, so that's what the hands will be doing and guess what? The bass drum will be leading the page, okay? So simple as that. Let's try this. So let's go over to the first line, okay? And we're going to read the page with the bass drum while we're playing this. So I'm going to start off with the hands first and then I'll just start with the bass drum, okay? Pretty cool. So let's try now, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down the page. I'm going to do each line starting on line two. I'm going to go down all the way to 12, just reading it as is. Four bars, switch four bars until I get to the bottom of the page. So uh, here we go. Number two. There you have it. So what I would encourage you to do is to go through each line from lines 1 to 48 individually, spend some time there and just build that bass drum uh, with the Purdy Shuffle. That way you're going to have a lot of options when you actually play the Purdy Shuffle. Your bass drum will be free and clear to do whatever it wants to do. So I would like to try one other thing before we go. I'd like to go over to exercise 1, which would be page 37 the older edition, and I think it's page 38, the newer edition. All right, so I'm going to play through the whole page, mistakes and all, just going to go right through it, and uh, so you'll get an idea of how cool this is. Okay, here we go.
you go. It was a little rough, but uh, I made it through from top to, to bottom. Now, let me make this clear. It's not a race from start to finish. I'm just kind of doing it this way right now because, you know, I'm trying to deliver this content in a quick fashion. But when you practice this at home, lock in it, you know, at a nice tempo and focus more on the groove and the placements of the notes more so than trying to get through the whole page. And that's what I just did. And it kind of sounded like that. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about just before we go. I'm just going to pick uh, a line from page 33 again, first line, okay? And what I'm talking about is when you practice this at home, really, you know, commit to the, the groove and the tempo. Well, there you have it, folks, taking syncopation and using it to further develop the Purdy Shuffle. I think that's pretty cool. Once again, I'll mention that if you're not able to play the Purdy Shuffle with the hands, like the actual hand pattern that's required, I highly encourage you to watch the video that I did specifically on this and how to play them. It's presented to you in a very simple way I assure you, if you try it out, you'll end up being able to play the Purdy Shuffle, um, at least what your hands are doing anyways. Then once you can do that, you could always try this exercise with syncopation with the bass drum, mixing it in with the Purdy Shuffle uh, hand pattern. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Drum Book Studies. I know I have. I had a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up would be cool. Drop a comment. Let me know what, uh, what you guys think about the Purdy Shuffle and the Syncopation book. Uh, and uh, if you haven't already done so, subscribe. You'll always get uh, an update on the, the most recent videos that I put out. Anyways, have yourself a great day, a great evening. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.